I was fortunate to do something that I loved, I was good at it, and managed to rub shoulders with some of the greatest players in the world who I idolised. Working class family, dad worked for Bilks Local, um, never used to have a TV, just a coal fire and you know, I think my mum was a bit of a rabbit and away we went, ten of them. I was last of ten, so there was an even split, five girls, five boys. Um, I was Eddie, probably the most successful of, of the, the other two. He, he played for Great Britain, Wigan, Leeds, St Helens, everybody, Challenge Cups, won a Lance Todd. Um, brother Tommy played for Warrington, St Helens, and uh, played for Wales. And my brother Ian actually signed for Widnes. Um, and my brother Steve actually played for Swinton. So to some extent, we all sort of played a bit of professional rugby league. I played for St Helens Crusaders as a kid up to about 10 and I was a, I was a decent player but I lost my dad when I was 10 and I didn't really have that sort of father figure in my life and sort of it's a bit of a rebellious streak for a few years and went off the rails as a junior and you know it's tough for the mum, single single mum trying to look after me and, and uh, I sort of came back round again and there was a kid called Warren Barra who actually signed for Wigan Warren and Warren was my vehicle so he picked me up and took me everywhere and um, so that was me, Oral St James at 13, and I went to Wigan St Jude's for the last year. But Saints was always in the background, and to be fair, you know, I think if Saints would have come in and offered me a t-shirt to sign, I would have done that. And it was a t-shirt plus a bag of crisp, I think, I signed for in the end. Cunningham now, always eager to take them on. Such a talent, this young man. I came in in 94, which, you know, we had a great side, you know, you know, your tier parties, your Shane Coopers, you, you, you go through, you know, played with idols who had idolised, you know, my favourite player of all time was Phil Vives. And all those people I'd watched on the terrace that, uh, and idolised and, and they made me want to play the game of rugby league. Um, you know, I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to rub shoulders with them and associate with them and call them friends. It's a perfect day, conditions superb for the Super League. And we've been saying for a while this is what it's all about and this is what it's all about. One of the greatest people I've ever sort of dealt with him and coached with and I respect highly is Eric Hughes and Eric was at the club and you know and Eric you know Eric really gave me a shot and he could see the potential in me and he, he gave me much the opportunity and chance and in 96 we just hit the ground running and that was for me that was the start of that young squad with a dash of real good senior players. That was the start of something special for this club. Saints have won it. Saints have won back to back titles. There was lots of opportunities to go elsewhere. Lots. I mean, I was I was a good player. Um, you know, at one point regarded as one of the best in the world, and I had a massive offer from rugby union in 2001, which I went and actually met with Swansea, and you know, I met Graham Henry, and they actually paraded me out on on Ninian Park one day in front of you know for the Cardiff rugby union game, and I was thinking like this is not right, you know, and I felt like I was betraying the club almost. My heart was always at this club. And it was always at this club from day one. 20 seconds and counting. You know, to finish my career there in 2010 when the stadium was shutting down and things went well for me. I scored the last try, so I was in the record books of that, you know, of the league games. And then we played Huddersfield and I scored the last try in the playoff game, so it was quite poignant. It was almost like, you know, the rugby gods were saying, well, we'll give you the last league try and we'll also give you the last ever try at no zero. So for me, that was the cherry on top. I was a fan and the fans knew that I was a fan and and they knew how much this club meant to me and to get the statue, I think, against some of the people who I thought was the greatest place to ever play for this club and to come in front of them was, was amazing. And, you know, for me, it's just, it just keeps my name for my family alive forever and a day. You know, it's always going to be that's granddad's or great granddad's statue.